at least six people were stabbed and wounded in northern Israel in what police say was a militant attack. Police said the assailant stabbed people in multiple locations in the northern city of Hadera on Wednesday before fleeing on a motorbike. The police say they later shot and neutralized him. They did not provide the name or nationality of the assailant. Five of the people who were attacked were in critical or severe condition, while the sixth was moderately wounded, according to the nearby Hillel Yaf Medical Center. Palestinians have carried out scores of stabbing, shooting and car ramming attacks against Israelis in recent years, and tensions have spiked over the war in Gaza. Palestinian officials say Israel's bombardment of central and northern Gaza has killed dozens of people and trapped thousands in their homes. The death toll in the year-long war in Gaza meanwhile passed 42,000. Gaza's health ministry said it recovered 40 bodies from Jabalia from Sunday until Tuesday, and another 14 from communities farther north. It said the toll is likely higher as there are bodies buried under the rubble and in areas that can't be accessed. The Israeli military spokesperson said that Israeli forces were operating in Jabalia to prevent Hamas from regrouping and had killed around 100 militants. The Israeli military said that 85 projectiles were launched from Lebanon toward northern Israel in a significant burst of fire Tuesday. The military said most of the projectiles were intercepted by Israel's aerial defense system. Israel's rescue service Megan David Adam said a 70-year-old woman was moderately wounded by shrapnel. Israeli media aired footage of what appeared to be minor damage caused to buildings near the coastal city of Haifa. The military also said that it struck Hezbollah targets in the Beirut suburb of Dahia, where the militant group has a strong presence. Israeli Defense Minister Yov Gallant said on Tuesday that Hezbollah was an organization without a head, adding that Hezbollah's leader Hassan Nasrallah was eliminated, his replacement was also probably eliminated. Gallant spoke while visiting the Northern Command in northern Israel. He said, it will take another day, another week, another two weeks and when the smoke and fog have cleared, in Iran they will realize that they have lost the most valuable asset there is, Hezbollah. Israel has called on people to evacuate several dozen communities across southern Lebanon, many of them north of a UN-declared buffer zone established after the Israel-Hezbollah war in 2006. Israel says its operations are aimed at halting a year of Hezbollah rocket attacks so that tens of thousands of its citizens can return to their homes in the north. 
Hezbollah has vowed to keep up the attacks until there is a ceasefire in Gaza. למעשה, כשאני מסתכל על התמונה, חיזבאללה זה ארגון בלי ראש. נסראללה לה חוסל, גם מחליפו כנראה חוסל, גם כל הצמרת, הקיל, מוחסן, קרקי וגם כל מה שמתחת. לדבר הזה יש השפעה דרמטית קודם כל על כל מה שקורה. אין מי שיקבל החלטות, אין מי שיפעל, ומערך האש. שחיזבאללה בנה אותו במשך שנים, זו השקעה איראנית אדירה. כל המערך הזה הגיע לרמה שחיזבאללה של היום הוא אה, אה, דומה למה שהתחיל איתו חמאס ואולי מתחת לזה. הפעולות שאנחנו עושים נצפות בכל רחבי המזרח התיכון. זאת אומרת, זה מקרין גם על חמאס, גם על איראן. ובוודאי על חיזבאללה, וגורמי הכוח בתוך לבנון מבינים את התמונה הזאת ונכנסים לתוך, ה, לתוך הוואקום, ולכן הפעולה הזאת גם משרתת את, ה, את היעד המערכתי, והעשן הזה הולך ומתפזר. ייקח עוד יום, עוד שבוע, עוד שבועיים, וכשהעשן והערפל יתפוגגו, באיראן יבינו שהם איבדו את הנכס הכי יקר שלהם, שזה חיזבאללה.